And it's not that I don't like these shoes. They just leave more to be desired. But let's talk about it. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to all my returning clients. Most love and appreciation. As always, if you're new here though, my name is Hayes. I'm a veterinarian as well as a sneakerhead, hence the name, the shoe vet. Today's specimen are going over the continued collaboration between luxury fashion house Gucci, as well as a sneaker giant Adidas to bring us the Gucci Adidas Gazelles. Around this time last year, I believe Gucci and Adidas made their first collaboration. I was a really big fan of it. They also, Adidas also did a collaboration with another luxury fashion house, Balenciaga. And I kind of, you know, did a little comparison about the two. I, I, I'm a Balenciaga fan just in general, especially over Gucci, but as far as this collaboration, I definitely gotta give the nod to Gucci and Adidas. I mean, their marketing was just outstanding. The whole campaign looked like they were having fun. It was a lot more vibrant. Balenciaga was kind of just like, all right, you know, here you go. Here's some triple S's, slap, you know, three, three stripes on him. The Stan Smiths was kind of, Nah, but everything about it was just kind of, it was a little lackluster. Definitely the campaign for this right here was spectacular and I love it. Awesome presentation. With that being said, it's a pretty good segue because again, the presentation, even for the shoe in of itself, is outright amazing. And I feel like if a designer puts in time and effort into the presentation, I'm definitely gonna take the time and effort to review it. So. Let's go ahead and get into that. Starting out with the box, we do have a two-piece box right here, base color in yellow, Treffle logo, as well as Gucci underneath it in kind of this burgundy color, three stripes. You already know what it is, Adidas, okay? Cool part about this box is that it's also functional. It's kind of like a little bag. You do have a turquoise, I, got, I would say ribbon, uh, but you can act like it's a handle by opening the box like that. On the side of the box, we have our sizing tag and label. I got my shoe size an eight plus, which correlates to a men's nine. But for standard protocol, we'll go over sizing later on in the video. Sliding open the box, we are greeted with some tissue paper. Surprise, surprise, you never would have guessed open up the tissue paper and we have a couple different things in here. We have some anonymous dust bags. I wonder what could be inside of those. And then in here we have our care cards and somewhere in here we have a spare set of laces. Here we go. Flat black cotton laces, perfectly wrapped together. These are the same laces that are already laced up in the shoe, just FYI, okay? That's pretty much all that is inside of the box. We'll put that to the side. I wonder if you can guess what is inside these dust bags that have the Truffle logo and Gucci on it. All right, guess one, two, three. It is another dust bag. <laughs> <laughs> all right, <laughs> they, they really went in for the presentation. Shout out to all the dust bags in there. But inside this dust bag, we have, of course, the shoe, all right? So meet the Gucci Adidas Gazelle in the electric blue colorway. There were a couple other colorways for the Gazelle in this collaboration. There was this one, there was a red one, there's a tan and brown one, and then there was a navy blue and yellow. I felt like this one is the one that's most fun, has the best pop to it, and had to get it. Definitely had to get it. It was quite uh, expensive though. A lot of bread, dropped whole bakery, dropped on these shoes, okay? About 920, about 920 loaves of bread. Yeah, yeah, about 920, uh, 920 US dollars um, without shipping because I got mine inside or picked up mine inside the store, this FYI. But uh, yeah, pretty hefty, pretty hefty. But let's go ahead and talk about what went into that steep price. Let's talk about what the shoe is comprised of, the colors, and actually break down the shoe a little bit further. Now, starting with the colors, the shoe is primarily an electric blue color, black accents, and you have kind of like tannish color in the midsole and outsole. As far as materials used, it's primarily this, what they call luxury canvas material. You have some hits of leather, cotton in the laces, and then you have rubber in the midsole and outsole. On the face of the tongue, you have some co-branding. You have the Truffle logo of Gucci, the flat back cotton laces running in and out of the metallic eyelets. The upper of the shoe is in that luxury canvas material. And this is honestly what you are primarily paying for this shoe, okay? All over the upper, you do have that GG Gucci monogram on it, okay? So you definitely know that, you know, you come in with a little bit of a luxurious heat, 
if you will, especially when you get close and you see the logos on the shoe far away. It does seem fairly much just like a electric blue gazelle, so it looks pretty cool, but as you get closer, that's when you see the flex, right? I think it's kind of the point of the shoe. On the heel, you have a little bit of healing on the heel pad, and then you have, again, some more some, co some more co-branding, show for a logo, Gucci. On the medial and lateral aspect of the upper of the shoe, you have three stripes in a leather material, three stripes, of course, for Adidas. And what's a really nice touch uh, is two things. So one, on the lateral aspect of each shoe, you have Gazelle that's embroidered, which is good, because I definitely would be upset if they just kind of screen printed or slapped it on there. It's nice to have it embroidered. And one thing I did miss as well on the laces, on the tips, they are plastic, which is kind of eh. I feel like they should have been metallic, but it is what it is. Anyway, so you do have the co-branding of Gucci and the Troll 4 logo, which is a nice subtle little touch on it. On the midsole of the shoe, this tannish, you know, semi-transparent midsole, uh, you do have that Gucci GG monogram that is printed all around it. And then on the outsole of the shoe, more co-branding in the middle of the circle. You do have the Troll 4 logo and Gucci, and then you have a bunch of Gucci monograms and Troll 4 logos that scattered all around the outsole of the shoe. The insert is just a foam insert. Nothing really too special. I mean, as far as comfort, it's not like super comfortable, but it's not uncomfortable either too as well. Uh, I, I definitely feel like you can get a full day's worth without having your feet fatigued or anything like that. I mean, at the end of the day, this is basically a Adidas Gazelle uh, with the, well, Gucci monogram kind of, you know, put all over it. Yeah, I don't really have any complaints about the insert. It is removable if I didn't mention that. So it's an insert. <laughs> As far as sizing for this shoe, I got mine an A+. Plus. Again, that correlates to a size 9. I feel like Adidas shoes in general go a little bit on the longer side, and I like my shoes a little more slug, snug. So, even for like even for like Sambas, I, I still go with a size 9. I went with a size 9 on this in US Men's, and it is perfect. What I recommend for you guys, if you ever want a Samba or a Gazelle, I probably would say go for whatever size that is, but if you haven't, if you have a, you know, regular regular foot or a small foot, like things a little more on the snug side, yeah, probably go down half a size. If you have a really long or big foot or something like that, I mean, this is still a fairly narrow shoe. I think you should probably go true to size, but uh, you know, you should be able to wear or try on a Gazelle or a Samba, you know, anywhere in Adidas stores. Or if they're still in the store at the making of this video, you could just go into a Gucci store and try them on yourself. So, you know, there's that too as well, okay? With that being said, after we get the shoe, what do we have to do? Style it. And how did I style this shoe? Uh, so breaking down this outfit right here, uh, this is a white cotton bamboo shirt. Of course, you guys should know the brand by now. Essentials, brown pants. I like kind of a little light, light brown, like kind of a light brownish color. Uh, pink socks from Stance, I believe. And then this pink bomber jacket that I had just been loving lately. And to break down this fit, of course, this is gonna be the shoe. The break down this fit, I mean, the shirt is, you know, neutral, basic white shirt. Brown and pink is just one of those really underrated color combinations in my opinion. It is a very, um, I think it's very harmonious. I don't think there's anything like as far as like complimentary or anything like that too, as far as like the whole color wheel, you know, color theory, but I, I think it's a really harmonious uh, color scheme like that. But I didn't want the pink to really be like the, you know, star of the show, so I, put on the pink bomber so that you have some type of coordination in there so you can see that, okay, hey, it is part of the fit, but it's not the star. The star is gonna be this, okay? There is nothing else that is remotely close to this color, and it's a very, very bold color, a lot more bold than the brown. So that is why I really like this fit right here, okay? This shoe is a, has a semi, a pretty, pretty low profile. Uh, it's still fairly chill as far as like the shape and silhouette, but obviously the color makes it go loud. So you don't really want to do too, too much with this shoe, uh, but I think this outfit really does well as far as silhouette and also color allowing this to shine. But you guys let me know how you guys feel about that fit. Now, as far as my overall, let's let's get to the, the, the main point of this now, okay? Is this shoe worth it? Again, $920, not including shipping and handling if you buy it online or anything like that, okay? Is this shoe worth it? And I would have to say it is an outstanding no, all right? And that hurts a little bit to say because I really love this collaboration. Uh, but for $920, I would say I would have preferred something a little more premium 
for the materials, uh, either, you know, full leather, or I think this would really be nice if they did it in full suede. That would have been really, really good, okay? Uh, I, I think the, I think the tan, I think the tan one did come in suede, suede or leather, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I just feel like that, that, that tannish brown color is very saturated in the house of Gucci. It is very, very calm and Debbie, and I'm just, I, I needed something fun, all right? Because again, this whole collaboration just screamed fun and enjoyment. And I think this color right here was the most representative of that. So I needed to get this uh, first and foremost. But yeah, I, I, I just I just can't really get with the justification of that much for, you know, this essentially a canvas gazelle with a Gucci monogram all over it. Now, I got the shoe, obviously, but I will have to disclose to as well that I got this shoe because I've been selling a lot of shoes that I either have not been wearing or have not worn, and therefore use the credits to buy this, all right? So essentially, I paid nothing out of pocket, so I will be wearing the mess out of these this coming summer. I don't know if I'm gonna call it necessarily a beater per se, because this still is a luxury shoe, but uh, you will definitely be seeing, you know, some appearances in these throughout the summer. With that being said though, how did you, first, how did you guys feel about the Gucci and Diaz collaboration in and of itself? Because I, again, I think the rollout was phenomenal, especially for what they did with the women's, uh, the women's shoes in particular. And they have some pretty cool accessories too as well between, you know, the bags, even the umbrella, uh, things like that I thought were pretty nice. But how do you guys feel about the collaboration in general? Did you guys pick up anything? Did you guys pick up the Gazelle? Did you pick up the, ah, I've got the, Oh, they're a little bit chunkier. I forgot the name of the shoes, but I'll throw over a picture. Did you guys pick up uh, those by any chance? And if you did, what are your thoughts? Were you a little bit underwhelmed as I was? Do you think these things are phenomenal? Do you think they're necessary? Because I personally don't. You know, if you have the bread, sure, go for it. But if it's something you have to like, don't, 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 don't mess around and do anything like, you know, Klarna or Afterpay or anything like that. Nah, like you're, you're, you're good. Relax, chill out, you're, you're fine, all right? With that being said, that's going to be the end of today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys become a client. You do that by hitting the description down below, as well as hitting the notification bell, so you'll be notified of the next appointment. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. The handle is at drhayes91. That will be in the description box down below too as well. Hope you have a great day. See you in the next video.